Greetings, Entities and Guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cookie Run Kingdom. Yeah, that's right. This is going to be another plumbing, uh, plumb, uh, uh, dynasty video because after the recent video where it was just me trying to struggle with how plumbing cookie houses work, I knew that I definitely need to come back on, you know, come back with this with something a little bit more stronger than before. And let's be honest, I probably got clowned a lot in that video. But with that being said, there's two primary things I want to do. One of the first things is I wanted to maybe get a formation going with this area because this is the whole entire stuff that we have going on for all of our businesses. Because as you can see, look how perfect that is. That's a perfect plus. Maybe we couldn't get some like roads going on over there and then maybe get some like other side buildings going on. I don't know, some pretty unique things just to set up some tiling for that because that looks really unique. Now, the second thing, which I think is going to be the main focus of this video is this over here. Do you notice this? This is just a flat plane of land that just has nothing in between it. You know what we're going to do? We're going to make a little dog park. Yeah, we're going to take a bunch of cake hounds, throw them in there, make it look pretty, look at nice and comfortable for the little cake puppers, and we're going to have a fun time. That's what we're going to do. Anyway, with that being said, we will be also trying to read comments from the video. They're close to breaching containment for the Beastie storyline, where if you want to leave your questions and comments down in the comment section below for me to read on these videos, and feel free to do so. It could be a random question, a random comment, a random fact, something about me, something about the game, something entirely different. It doesn't even matter, because as long as we're having a fun time at the end of the day, <clears throat> and I'm getting the hiccups too. So that's just great. And we also appreciate being around each other from community to creator and creator to community. That's what matters the most, which we're going to start off this strong before we really get to building here from Princely the First saying, common question. I uh, I do I do remember back in kindergarten, I was with a group with others, but they there was this one person who wasn't in the group yet. So I invited him. Turns out that people aren't really as they seem as I was really fun hanging out with him, although we don't talk much now, but we do from time to time playing video games. Well, honestly, that's really awesome. I'm glad that you still keep in touch with this person because honestly, just having fun in a little video games even if it's small honestly i'm very proud of you for just being able to keep that connection anyway so the first thing i want to do is i want to get like a good flooring for this but what would be a good flooring i guess a good layout uh here uh hmm would be great maybe not, something nice and soft but also that can flourish if that makes sense i originally wanted to turn this into a little beast area but uh or, uh, not beast but like a beach area but uh i don't know honestly at I wanted to do something a little bit more. That should be something a little bit more open, if that makes sense. Uh, but let's see. I don't want to make it like concrete. Maybe this material? Mm, I don't know. It looks somewhat on the darker side. I want something somewhat light, because I could maybe go for this. Does that look cool? Ooh, maybe. That's looking nice. If the cake pups like that, then maybe I can go for that. Uh, but maybe, some, no, maybe this red flooring? Mm, I think that's what we might go with because uh, it kind of makes sense because uh, a color a good color palette for the cake counts are red and white and maybe what we, do, we can uh, make it so that you have the little crossway right here just kind of like walking so I think that'd be nice okay good setup good setup uh <laughs> it's already looking way better than before it looks like little like uh cherry drip rivers it's hard for me to explain that, but that's what I'm seeing. Also, Guava Marshmallow left a comment saying, Common question. I don't know if she was my first friend, but I did have a best friend for years named Chioma. We were very close, and she always had my back. Fortunately, she moved away, and Roblox was the only contact we have, though she stopped using that account. Oh, well, I'm very sorry to hear about that, but at least you could, uh, you, at least you have the memories that you made along the way with that friend, and those are, th those are something that you always want to cherish, because let's be honest, a, ch a, pl a plumbing friend is a gift, and a gift is something that you should always cherish, either if it's just... You know, for the moment or forever. And I just noticed there was a little plebeian sugar and I was just right there being funny. Uh, but now, I think right now we should find... Uh, I, I want to find things that the uh, k counts would enjoy being around though. So like things of food and stuff like that. So let's go to build. Uh, is there stuff that... Uh, is there just stuff for k count? Gnome's Life Market Square. Because uh, it would be nice if there was just like, you know, dog park area. Like that would be nice. Uh, Acorn, Gnome's Life Market Square. Uh, teacup, Lunar. Uh, it's not looking like it as far as my knowledge. Actually, wait, isn't there a, uh, there's, there's gig counts right here. There are gig counts. They cost 250 though? Hmm. I don't know, but, I don't know, if they, them, them just being around right here, like, introducing the area. It's a little fun. Uh, can they just, just they, they can introduce, they'll be the introductory. Introduction, and then put one right next to them? Oh, no, we can't. Aw. Wait, can we? Eh, it's looking close. Uh, no, what are you doing? Uh... Also, maybe some flowers there would be pretty good. I just want to check this, uh, like, on that side right there. So, Cookie can still walk through, and then that little pup right there can surprise attack him. Perfect. All right, so, what other things can we throw on there? I might check back on that one area to see if we can get anything. Cookie Trait of Doom. 
A legend has it in ancient times, trays like this were used to send cookies to their final journey, whether well, true or not, sitting on its cold metal things give these treats. Well, we don't want that. We don't. We, we want our pups to have an enjoyable time. Like, maybe with some pastry peonies? Uh, pansies, red is the brightest strawberry jam. Perhaps they are meant to remember priests who gave their lives to defend the world's justice. Yeah, this is kind of a bad place to have some, like, cake pup stuff. Like, let's be honest, I kind of want some stuff that's more, like, you know, festive, like, party-like. Like, maybe we could go over here, like, grand dinner party? See, now, a giant piece of meat. A giant piece- you're telling me a dog would enjoy this like a cake pup would enjoy this? They could just shove this in the corner, and they'll have a fun time just nomming out on that. They could just nom on that for days. And, uh, I don't know if they have anything else. Maybe we can add a little, like, pool of water. Pudding cup? Mmm. I don't know. Cake Hound's gotta eat something. And this is also from the Red Velvet set, so that's ironic. That's actually fun. Uh, but cool. Anyway, uh, Silver in it laid off a comment saying, I like Shadow Milk Kiki. His VA did a good job voicing him and giving him a gesture personality. Yeah, you gotta be honest. That voice actor did an amazing job. A superb job at giving him a voice. And it just really makes him stand out a lot more. Because I think that's one of the best things that you can give your character if they don't have a good design. Give them a plumbing amazing personality. And I think that's really all you need in the end. Well, I mean, you need a, a bunch of other things too just to make it work. But still. Anyway, also, Kimberly Crocant left a comment saying, Hyper, I have a great video idea. Or just a great idea. What if the way to get the beast cookies is defeating them back? Didn't... You, you you said this already in my last video. And I said that'd be cool, but I already gave my opinion about that, so... Eh, what are the odds? Anyway, maybe Garden of Delight. We can add some cool stuff here. Cotton candy trees. Uh, a soft serve horsey. Passo box. Oh, well, probably we can add a, little, a few benches here. I think that'd be sweet. Just a little bench next to the uh, the cake puppers. Uh, so, like, one right here. Maybe a double set, like, from one way to, like, cross. So, like, uh, yeah, this way too. Uh, then right there... And then one more right next to it. It's small, but you know what? Hey, it gets the job done. Nice little uh, design right there. Uh, what? Something else here? Hmm. A little dressing room, huh? And also a beautiful thing. Uh, there's a lot that I can place down here, and it's making me feel very happy. But we're not even placing the cake counts yet. We're just trying to pl place down some decors. Uh, so also maybe some flowers would be nice to like place around some of the areas. But ones that they could just like walk over. Uh, little greenest mascot. Maybe that could be like the chew toy floating raspberries. Well, those are for the water. Uh, hmm. Move some bushes. I don't know. There's a lot to really think about trying to just make it all work. Uh, harvest festivals. Maybe add something here. Uh, some rice cake flower beds. May if, if they, if I, I don't think I can put them on it though. No, unfortunately not. Which kind of makes me sad because I want to add a little bit more flair to it. Uh, but maybe we can add something over here. I'm not sure if this place would have anything. Rice cake hound kennel. Look at dog! Look at look at doghouse! Look at dog! They can have little homes. Of course, perfect. This is where all their homes are gonna be. We can have a little doghouse station right here. But there's one. Oh, we can have so many. We can have we can place down the whole brigade of them right here. There's like three, four, five, six. Oh my! Look, look and they're all gonna go in there. They all can like share homes. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love it. I'm glad something interesting was in here. Is there any exclusive like cake counts in here? I don't think so. Uh, okay, so at least we got some uh, dog houses for uh, the little cake counts. That's actually really cool. How far are we into this? We're already nine minutes in, which that's kind of shocking to me. But whatever, we still got a lot of time on our hands to uh, make some silly things happen. Uh, so what we can do now is, uh, I guess we could try and put some down. But I feel like it needs just a bit more. Because, you know, some benches, a uh, nice thing of food, and a nice thing of uh, thing right there, like uh, the cake houses. Uh, plus, they're fine, but like I think we can add more. I just have this inkling of here. There's like more stuff that we could add just to make this even better than before. Uh, tumbleweed, sugar baller. Hmm. Also, maybe some lights. That would probably be pretty neat. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe just like an average log in there would also be pretty cool just for them to like I don't know, do some stuff with. Uh, I don't know. Just trying to think because you never know when it comes to this stuff. Any small detail can really just spell out if your kingdom is good or your kingdom is bad. And I want to make sure that this kingdom is perfect. And I already know there's some stuff with this kingdom that doesn't make it the best. But you know what? I was I still trying my hardest. Uh, crows this uh, dinner or diner. A uh, little board, paper cutout fence. Interesting. A uh, balloon cart. Don't think we'll be needing stuff with that. Exciting show announcement. Huh. Maybe we can make this like a little, uh, this will be like a rule sign. Like, we'll put one, like, right here, like, right before you enter. 
and uh, it'll be for like, uh, oh no, no, wait, what we can do, we can put, uh, can we turn this around more? No, we can't, but what we'll do is we'll put down some lights, and uh, we'll put some lights next to those signs, just so you can make sure like, hey, this is where you're supposed to put down, uh, this is where you're, this is what you're supposed to do. You can't do these specific things, but you can do these specific things. So, I don't know, I, I could probably make them work. Fence looks kind of off there, but I think it still looks fine. Looks weird. Maybe just in case, like, separate them like that. Uh, then get some assortment of lights, probably putting on both sides. Uh, plan layout. Let's do... Let's, let's do a comic first while, before we do this. Like, Undercover Elixir, um, Undercover Elixir says, Lola, so obvious when Shadow Milk manipulates PV and the rest of the cookies, which is why I think he uses some hidden powers to cause because it's too obvious. Yeah, to be fair, it is kind of obvious, because, like, I mean, when you're... Th that's... If... I, I don't want to sound rude, but, like, if you let those voices win, then you're just kind of an idiot, because, like, if a voice aggressively tells you to cut the tree down, then you should probably go to therapy. Or try and stop whatever monster that's trying to control that part of you, because if that were the case, then that'd be weird, uh, but also kind of funny. Like, could you imagine, like, I just, there was just... Should we put the licorice familiar scarecrow? <laughs> this scarecrow was crafted by a certain cake monster and uh, a certain meringue cat creature. For some reason, there's something inherently scary about it. This will, this will be the patented chew friend. This will be the chew friend. <laughs> Yes, served right there. Uh, actually, no, wait. Right, uh, right there, just in the corner. It, it, this, that's their little bite buddy. Uh, just their bite buddy. They'll, they'll train, they'll learn. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I just thought that'd be stupid but funny. Uh, maybe get something to the music festival. Oh, loudspeakers, interesting. Uh, staff, we could probably have some pet staff watching over. Uh, spotlights. Mm, I don't think I'll be able to turn them everywhere, though. I just want one set of, like, simple lights. Uh, because maybe... Oh, cam Like, these? I think these would be good. So, like, place them right here. And, uh... Oh, no. Placing them like that would be a little bit better, I think. Uh, so, one right, right there. And then we'll place another thing right there. But I just want to make sure that this is fully shown. Uh, make sure that this is correct. Hmm. Make it sure. Because that'll be in front of the fence. And now I just gotta line it up. Is that lined up? It's so hard to tell. I think it is. So we'll do one right there. And then we'll do another one right here. Wait, can we? Wait. Hold on a second. Did I just gank up? Excuse me? Uh oh. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I can fix this, I can fix this. Uh, with one down. Perfect. And now this thing. Rotate you. There we go. It looks a little bit better, although I think I can... Can I move this one way? I, I think this needs to match. I, I, I'm trying to make sure this matches. And then just go up this way. Might be a little bit off. There we go. I think that's good. And if it's not, it's going to be very plug and close. So, alright, so some little light setups are done. That's good, that's good. Uh, so, what are we at? Are we at nearly 15 minutes? We're at... Uh, basically 13 and a half. Okay, so that's cool. We'll read a few more comments and we'll ask a common question of the day. Which... One comes from Ski Storm saying, Cookie kind of world? Why not all dessert kind of world? Like cookies think in the past that they're superior dessert race? I don't know. It's just how cookies think, I guess. Uh, Arian Funhouse also left a comment saying, Common question. I remember meeting a friendly girl called Victoria back in middle school. She's so sweet. Oh, that's sweet to hear. Just like the girl uh, Victoria. You know, it's sweet. And also Shafira Raganosikov left a comment saying, Hey, Hyper Himes, I have a question. If Custer Cookie have reached the age where he can go to school, but he's scared, what would you do? I probably I probably just give him the good old lesson. Go like, hey, hold on, let me take a swig of water. And there's something in life you need to know. Not everyone is always going to be there to protect you. It is your first step of going through this by your own, and I know you can do it because you're strong. I know this. You are brave. You have courage. You have resistance, and you are a strong little child. And I guarantee you, once you grow up, you will be a full-fledged king, and you will reach your max potential. Now, who's with me? No, it's kind of weird for me to say it like that, but it's kind of like a less li life lesson to living everyone. But anyways, for a common question of the day, let's just do something silly in regards to this video. If you had a uh, pet cake hound, what would you name him? And how would you treat him? Because let's be honest, obviously if, you, if you're if you sane, you would probably treat him with respect. You'd probably abuse her if you did. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just saying like, you know, if you had one, because like, you know, they act so much like a dog, but, you know, they're cake. 
you bet you better not try and eat them i swear if you do but like because i would say personally i'd have to think about a lot of things because like first of all how, how, how do they bathe because i feel like if i drop them in water like they might like you know lose all the cake property and like they might get soggy and they're just gonna like shred apart I wouldn't want that to happen because they, 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 they look so cute. They look so cute. And also, like, how... I was always curious. How, how do their eyes work? Because I, I understand there's two eyes on one side and no eyes on the other. Would that be kind of weird? How, do they... Do they... Do they have 40 zero vision? I have no idea. But whatever. Be sure to tell me down in the comments below because I think it's just kind of goofy. Anyway. Uh, let's add some more things. I think I should add a little water pit. Just so they can have something to, like, drink in. Um, I don't want to make it so deep. Ah! But would that not match? Maybe this. Oh, that's weird, though. Because it does It like... I need something that matches. Hmm. Something at least with, like, red corners, at the very least. I need to try and look for this. Uh, something red. I need red. Something in the Badlands? No, this is just chocolate tiles. I wonder if I could search for, like, stuff with water. Uh, like these? Uh, red water. Yum. Uh, it doesn't really look like it. It's kind of unfortunate. I want to give him, like, something with water. Oh, I can actually just go through this whole end. And this actually makes my life a lot easier. Uh, I think at least. It's kind of like looking through a catalog of items and seeing, just seeing what I can pick and choose. Uh, but let's take a gander over here. Maybe we can find something worth interest. Uh, aging barrel. Maybe that could be where they slurp some water from. Maybe. That's what I'm. That's my main pa uh, plan right now. I don't know what else I could probably use, but we'll see. We'll see. Keep looking. Uh, water, water bomb board. By the way, if you hear some sound, someone take uh, take it a shower. But I'm not gonna stop him. Or maybe that's like the washing machine, because our washing machine acts weird. So hopefully that's not too loud. But it's whatever. Anyway, we're just gonna keep on looking for something that's like uh, concho faded message. Mmm. I don't know. If there was just like a straight up bucket of water here, I would take that in an instant. But seems like there's nothing really uh, of note that's noteworthy here. Also, I think it'd be nice if I could have some of the uh, you know the sugar gnomes being the uh, thing. I don't know. Ice, more ice. They throw in a vending machine. Maybe the dogs didn't have a vending machine. Uh, I don't know. Dragon roar. Okay, that's a drum, not a barrel. I think I'm gonna have to go barrel route because I don't know what else. Because like. It doesn't seem there's like a tap thing that I could just activate that could just make him go like, oh, drip, drip, slurp. I'm just taking a gander at the audio, seeing how loud it is. I'm sorry. Uh, just trying to focus. Uh, while I gander through, I may as well already comment from a few from uh, Ultra. One saying, random question, or what, or what is, or what are some non-playable cookies that you want to be playable? Uh, one after one, uh, one I definitely want to say pinata cookie, uh, which is only shown in like Cookie Run Puzzle World and an NPC and Oven Break, so that'd be really cool. But uh, I think there's a couple other ones. Like I think Basis Cookie would actually be pretty interesting as playable in Kingdom. And uh, honestly. I, you know what would be stupid in Kick Around on Break? They showed us this stupid uh, NPC called, like, the Scrub Master. Make make him playable. Make him playable. Let's see what he can do. I want to see what this plumbing BFDI character could do. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, uh, Banquet Sheet Music. It's just sheet music, though. I think we're going to have to scroll all the way back up. I'm just trying to look for some water. Is it that hard? Drying rack? That's cool. Stand pipe. This, this is our key in the hole. It was all the way back at the beginning. Uh, plumbing right in the corner. Yeah, one up right there. Perfect. All right. So now, can I look at my own things? Uh, oh, also maybe some trees would be nice. Uh, but right now, I think importantly, let's go, let's go to our layout. Uh, where would I find the stars? I don't know exactly where they'd be. I, I guess it, I see all. Is there a specific thing for them? Or? Oh, wait, I can set it up like this. Oh. Here we go. Uh, probably, oh, a little butterfly. That's sweet. Uh, okay. Uh, trying to think. Did I accidentally press the... Okay, no, I, I thought I pressed something that was bad. Uh, all right, we got Mummy Cake Hound. Look at this fella. Uh, put him right here. They're slur... They're, are they slurping? They're slurping. They're slurping. Look, look at them. They're slurping. It's working. It's working. Yes. All right, and uh, Blueberry Friend. Uh, they, they, they can chew next to the meat, okay? Uh, or, I, I, I guess they can't. All right, we're, uh, wait, wait, let's, uh, if only I could point them in every single direction, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Let's put one chill right there. Uh, this one looks like a golden cheese one. Uh, let's put them right next to, uh, right in front of the seats. Right there, just so, uh, someone can have easy access to petting them. Uh, don't we got more? Don't we got more? Uh, little ground one. 
Uh, this way, it looks like they're just- Oh, they're just, there's a bunch of them sleeping in there already! That's like the whole lesion! Uh, this one's busy chewing that one. Uh, I'm pretty sure we do got some more. Uh, that's a regular one. Uh, the dragon one, obviously you're gonna have this one chewing up this little fool. Obviously. Uh, might be blocked by the fences, but you know what? They're doing the work. Uh, plumbing this Ruffweiler? Rottweiler? I don't know. Uh, they're just checking on their, uh, friend up there, right there. Uh, this beautiful moon one, which I feel like we should just place every single one down. I think we should, because, like, this would be a cute collection for all of them. Uh, wasn't there another one? Uh, I think there is, but I think I completely forgot where it would be. I don't know, but, like, there's just so many to choose from here. And, like, it makes me happy, because, like, now just doing this part of it, I'm just very excited. I should probably read some comments, because, like, now I'm going to be oogling over this the whole entire time. There's actually another comment on the Ultra Left, but it's rather long, saying, Comment question of the day, I remember a few years ago, I was going to a fair ride at the Town Carnival, for reference, to ride itself with spinning a disc on a track going left to right, and I eventually start spinning, I believe the ride was called the Disco. I think I remember that, too. Uh, they were riding for the third time before a ride started. The person found was my age, but they were visibly scared, chilling with their mom, saying they didn't want to go on. Noticed they were scared, so I tried to comfort them, giving a mental image of Disco, essentially being like a skateboard going back and forth on a ramp. Uh, so they pictured it, and after a stop, they thanked me, saying I told them it really helped. TRDO, two strangers, uh, TLDR, two strangers, turned best uh, after wholesome conversation. That's actually a really adorable story. I'm very happy that you told that. That's actually very sweet. Just consoling someone after being like super scared to go on a ride. And you're just like, hey, it's okay. Just follow my lead. It'll all be good. And yeah, I, I'm really, I, that's, that's just wholesome. Top 10 wholesome moments I've ever seen this whole entire lifetime. Uh, and also, Nexium left a comment saying, it makes me wonder what does defeating the uh, beat, wait. What does I say? Thank you, comments, for messing me up. Uh, it makes me wonder, what does defeating the beast even mean? If they are free and the heroes have to face them, what could they do? I want to hear what you think. Uh, if they're... F wait, what do you... Uh, if it makes me wonder, what does defeating the beast even mean? If they... If they are freed and the heroes have to face them, what could they do? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure they could still face him with, like, a big power boost. Because, like, White Lily Cookie technically got that after being the true savior, but, uh... I don't know, because it does make, it's kind of complex because they still hold the soul gem and they're both halves. Like the current ancients and the other ancients. So I don't know what's up with that. It might be a little bit confusing uh, the more that we get into it. But uh, hopefully uh, the story itself will kind of lay that down on the table uh, the more that we go through this. So uh, we got a little BTS special friend right there. We'll put right there. Uh, oh, we actually got a couple. I'll just put uh, one down for now. And... Yeah, and like I mentioned, it'll be interesting. I don't know how it works myself, because uh, with with Kick Your Own Logic, anything is possible at this point. But, whatevs. And is that all for the cake counts? I thought I would have had a little bit more, but, uh, eh, I guess not. Kind of a shocker, though. Maybe there's some cake counts I can, like, buy or something? I don't know. If only, if only there's, like, a section for them. Is there a section, like, others just, is other for, just for cake counts? I wish I could find out. Uh, is, uh, Chewy, uh... I don't know, because what the plug is exclusive? It's hard to see. Crispy Kick Town, uh, Camping Time, Land of Peace, Bam, Bam, Acorn Village, Gnomes Like, Market Square, Thing, Thing. Because uh, I'm not sure if the uh, other things would be in other. I don't think so. Would they? I don't know. I'm getting confused now. I'm getting scared. Because uh, I'm looking over here. Now, nah, this is weird. All right. Well. Anyway, there's also a few comments from Smart and Spiral. One saying, oh gosh, I'm just beating these levels in Trial Grounds. It's hard to beat the Crab Boss. The Crab Boss in Trial Grounds? I don't think I ever faced that myself. But you also left comments saying, one thing I saw, the Beast's eyes are revealed, but I hope the four of them get revealed fully soon. If they look good, Silent Salt's helmet though. Also, Eternal Sugar and Burning Spice eyes looks like snakes. Yeah, that's true. They got, they got those uh, slanted like eyes, which is makes it look pretty unique though. And your last comment, a comment from a... Uh, your last comment says, it's over, I have Sea Fairy Cookie at 5 stars. Well, I'm proud of you for getting that cookie to 5 stars, because I guarantee you that takes a lot of effort. Uh, not even joking, because that's a full-fledged legendary right there, so good for you. Uh, anyway, I don't know what else I could really put down. Fun with bricks, blazing sun. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. There's just a lot to put down here. I don't know if I could even buy anything else that's from like shops and stuff, but for, currently from what we have so far, this is like kind of neat. It's a little, like, simple pet area where they can just run around, do whatever they want. It's simplistic, but it's really happy. I'm proud for the progress that we made. Anyway, I guess we could also scounge the shop. Maybe there's some other stuff that we can get. I don't know, but... I don't know, maybe there's bound to be something. Like, maybe Silverlight Banquet? Hmm. Alright, well... I guess there's nothing there. 
I don't think at least. Huh. Eh, whatever. I guess... Hmm. I'm just trying to look for anything here. Uh, like, I want... If only there was, like, a little search section where you can kind of, like, show us all, like, K-counts and stuff, because that'd, be, that'd actually be pretty cool. Uh, but I don't think that's the case right now. If it was, that'd make my life so much easier. But, of course, my life has to be complex. Uh, oh, candy cane torch, that would actually be pretty cool. Fire hydrant. We're gonna buy one of those, and I think you all know the reason why. But I'm not gonna explain that. <laughs> anyway, that'll be, up, that'll be for you to decide. Anyway, oh, that would be cool, too. Uh, mm, I don't think there's really anything else. I think we can also, like, provide some, like, you know, Hmm. Someone can set up a picnic right here. Oh, but that'd be pretty big to set up. Maybe right here? Uh, right there. And some of the dogs can just, like, be right nearby. And they can just run by. And, you know, you could probably set up a picnic right there. It'd all be fun. So, and there's that. Also, there's a comment from uh, Mona Wolf Deer. One saying, I have to make new headphones since my last one's broke. Well, I hope you make them good. And your other comment says, Common question, I really hate talking about my Arabic first friend. She has, she was bossy and doesn't let me talk. So about my first French friend, one day we were laughing at her voice and she screamed and laughed about my laughing. Yeah. Hey, if you're willing to dish it, then you're going to have to be willing to take it. It's just the common fact of life. If you're willing to clown on someone, then you also be, you better be prepared to get clowned on. Because let's be honest. You, there's no way you're ever going to avoid always getting uh, clowned on because at some point you will and you're just gonna have to take it or you're gonna have to rebel back but make sure it doesn't turn to a fight because then you're just gonna turn to an enemy and you never know when that person's gonna get way more successful than you and you'll be bearing at their feet anyway with that being said uh, <laughs> look at those sugar gnomes anyway I will just set up some of this stuff and then I guess we'll end the video I think it's a little bit shorter in comparison to my other Kikiasi videos but we'll still try and aim for 30 minutes because you can never be too sure because uh, you gotta love the placements of a lot of these I thought, uh, the frog. Uh, maybe place one of those down, I don't know. Uh, snow? Hmm. I would like to place one sugar gnome down. But, like, I'm trying to figure out which one, because there is quite a bit. If I could only find, maybe the blocky one, so they can just get chewed at. I don't know, it's hard, it's hard. Urgh. Anger. Anger manipulation. What, is manip what does manipulation have to do with it? Probably nothing. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, scroll a little bit back up. Maybe find, like, one sugar gnome. I th oh, wait. I th oh, yeah, I do remember something. It's from, uh, I think there's a straight-up a sugar gnome set. Uh, and there's one that I actually don't have. Uh, if I go over here, uh, I think it's, uh, in Village? Hack Farm, Campy Time, and go Gnome's Life. There's, a uh, Giant Mustache. Yeah, that'll work. And we could also complete that set. Uh, so he's just pointing over him. Pretty sweet. And uh, let's do another one over here, which, uh, just ominously looks over at this, uh, you know what, right there, and then we'll place, like, another, uh, oh, we can complete that, fantastic. We'll place, like, some other cake count from, uh, where is it, Teacup Banquet, uh, St. Pastry. We'll place one more of these boys, uh, right here, boys, girls, whatever you want to be, uh, just right here, just on the side, just right next to this fire hydrant. Actually, can I hit him right here? No, I can't, dang. Uh, oh, let's... Point straight at it. Uh, uh, mm. Right there. You all know why. Anyway, uh, I think that should be it for this area. I mean, it's not the best. It's not the most. Per Did I just? What happened? It's so on, right? Okay, I, I, I minimized something. I thought I could close everything. I got scared. Anyway, it doesn't look the most appealing. Like, I feel like a little bit more could be done just to kind of, like, make some things more fleshed out. But I think for now, this is actually really sweet. I think what makes it interesting is just because of the uh, the lamps kind of, like, block out some of it. And by the way, there's a lamp glitching. It's, it's supposed to be behind that. But I can't explain anything of what happens to this kingdom anymore. I guess it'd be nice to have a little opening area, but I don't think I can, don't think I can really do anything for that. Uh, maybe if it just made it grass, it'd be better. Hmm, but it does, it, it just matches the color scheme of the cake count, though. I don't know. I don't know. I guess what we can do is we can, we can end the video there. And uh, I know I said I was also going to focus on this uh, thing over here. But this is taking me way more time than I expected. But whatever the case is, this is just solely the K-Count video. And I know it's just a small area in this whole plethora of different areas. But in the long scheme of things, this turns out to be really sweet to have. So anyway, with that being said, the only thing we're going to do now is just read a few more comments. Uh, which there's one from Anina... Uh, 
uh, Anita Salicano saying in pre-K, there's this person named Liam, and we did three play dates when I was supposed to be asleep over, but yeah, the dog was sick, so it was play date, and I, no, I mean those dates, I mean a date when you played with someone last year in graduation, he said to me that he will be leaving the school and going to a different school, but I forgot what school that was, and that's the end of our story, good night. Well, that's just kind of sad, I didn't want to end off on the sad note. How about another one from Sonic Gamer saying, uh, So recently, I ended up buying RPG Maker MV off Steam after receiving my late great grandmother's computer because it was only in sale for $11.99. And currently, I'm trying to make a fan game based off the new ground series, Pretty Blood. I need to figure out how to actually uh, how to put actual Pretty Blood characters in my fan game so far because I'm only able to use characters that I customize to vaguely remember the, or resemble the characters. Hopefully, I'll find a pretty decent tutorial. Well, I hope you find a pretty decent tutorial too because that sounds fun being able to create your own games. Like, that just genuinely sounds like an amazing time. But anyway, with that being said, I think I'll end the video right here. There may be some comments that I missed, which I do apologize for that, but we've been here for long enough. So uh, with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it, and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my Kicker on content, and if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe, and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. Also, down below in the description, you'll see links to all my social media, including a Twitter post, where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the Kicker on YouTube set for absolute free. Um, well, uh, <laughs> I get it. Should I just restart? But I'll, I'll just say, I'll do, uh, subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I do. Uh, down below in the description, there'll be links to all my social media, like a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the kicker on YouTube set for absolutely free. A link to my Discord server called the Hype Beast Hub. A link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel. And lastly, a link to my Kofi where for just $1 a month, you can see exclusive content that you wouldn't normally see on this YouTube channel. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the Hype Beast.